Nia nia everyone, this is Thermite, and this is the weekly update. As always, very first link below is Weekly Shonen Jump. Please check it out. It was a really fun time this week. I've moved some stuff around, so no longer reading Double Ta- uh, I mean, I kind of said last week wasn't going to read Double Taisei. Did not even pick up Beast Children. At the very start of my reaction, I do have, like, I left in a little bit of my Beast Children reaction, but it wasn't good. <laughs> like... I just, I wasn't super into the vibe of the series. And after I was done recording, I did go back. I did read the whole thing. It is, it's better than I thought it was, but it still doesn't give me the correct vibe. Like, if a couple more chapters pass and I end up really liking it, I'll add it in. But for now, I don't think so. Same with Double Taisei. I read chapter two of Double Taisei. Um, interesting twist, but still not sure about it. At this point, like, I like having complete series that are up, but especially for Weekly Shonen Jump. I feel like Weekly Shonen Jump is something that a lot of people don't really go back to for a lot. Like, I don't think people are really, like, going back to watch all my robot laser beam reactions, for instance. So, I, I'm more okay with the idea of not starting a series with Chapter 1 and then staying there the entire time. I, I'm not sure how, what the value of that is. So, like, yeah, anyways. Um, the current schedule slimmed down a bit. I moved Samurai 8 to my pre-recordeds, and I moved um, Chainsaw Man to my live re reactions. So hopefully that works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy that change. I feel like if Samurai 8 is earlier and I'm not doing it live, I'll be more relaxed with it. I'll be less like critical of it, perhaps. And with Chainsaw Man, I mean, uh, two of my like top-tier fans really, really wanted it to be a live stream series. So we'll see how it goes. Um, it's like, I wrote, I tend to read it pretty quickly, so I don't think it's going to impact the live streams all that much. We have one more series coming next week. Um, I believe that the name is up. It was Tokyo something, uh, Tokyo Shinobi Squad. So interesting. Sounds like it's going to be another, um, <laughs> demon slash exorcist series, which not a super big fan of, but we'll see. We'll see. Interesting that's coming out like in the same lump as, uh, Samurai 8. It feels like these two would, you know, kind of be fighting for the same uh, demographic. Uh, apart from that, um, I am going to do some more chapter ones this time around. I'll give you guys a quick peek. I know most people don't really watch these. They just kind of see this, know that the reaction is up. They go directly to the first link in the comments and they check it out. But if you read the if you watch this whole thing, please, please, please check this out. So uh, someone, one of you recommended Sui Teru Kanujo to me. And... Uh, I only had the name. I was then told, like, oh, by the way, there's three series called Sui Terry Kanjo, and, like, they're not related. They're different mangaka, they have different art styles, like, I don't know which one is the one that was recommended to me. I assume it's this one, because it has a lot of views, uh, it has the most chapters, like, the others are really short. But to be fair, in the past, I also said, like, I want some shorter series. So, because it's three of them, and Chapter 1's is a series where I do three series at a time... I'm going to do an episode that is just the first chapters of all three of these Suiteru Kanajo uh, manga. Then after that, honestly, I I kind of want to do all of them. Like, because they're so short, it's very doable. I could legitimately read all three of these. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. That's a bit of a weird goof. Also, I'm planning to do some more chapter ones in the future. Uh, I paired through my list, got rid of all the Shueisha series, got rid of some of the edgier series, because I'm trying to put fewer edgy series on the channel, but I still like edgy series. And I was convinced that, you know, just because something is on Chapter 1s doesn't mean it has to be potentially a series I'll read on the channel. It can just be the first chapter, like, that is appealing in and of itself. So, I, I'm not, like, throwing away series that are super edgy, it's more just... Series where I've looked at it and just from the initial vibe, I thought, uh, I'm not sure if I want to do this. I got rid of those. Like, dealer's privilege, right? Please feel free to continue submitting series that you think I might want to read on the channel slash series that you would like to see someone react to. And well, we'll see how it goes. I have a lot of bias. I don't promise that I'll read each and every one, but we'll see. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. <laughs> Um, especially after that long stride of, hey guys, send in things, maybe I won't read them. <laughs> but seriously, I mean, it, this is a hobby for me, and I'm really happy that my hobby makes other people happy, even if just a little bit. So thank you all so much for watching, bye for now, nya nya.